Yes, you. You're going to wear that shirt today? Are you really going to go out with that shirt? You know, I'll never forget. Oh, I remember this so vividly. I wanted to play with my sister. She had like a, a play kitchen set. And my mom yelled at me and she said, no, you can't play with that. That's your sister's toy. And she's sorry, she sent me to my room. Hey. And I got so yes. angry and that I went, I got my scissors, so you know, the, the little scissors that kids use, and I and I got my sister's hey, doll. I'm talking I, to you. Pull the hair off the doll. Me again. Hi. And tell him to shut up. Oh, I got in big trouble for that. Tell him to shut the fuck up. Leave me alone. What? Uh no, nothing. Oh. Okay, well I, oh, oh my God, I'm so, I had Mexican, I'm sorry, hold on. Yeah, 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 sure. I think he just shit his pants. <laughs> okay, okay, what the heck is going on? This is invasion of privacy. You're a hacker, right? So go hack someone else. Oh, please, I'm not a hacker. How do I know that? Look, if I was a hacker, then, then how would I know that you used to masturbate to She-Ra, Princess of Power? Hmm? How do you know that? I am everywhere. Yeah. I can see that. I know everything, Tomas. Okay, I I'm done with this crap. Goodbye. <laughs> Tomas, you can't get rid of me. I said that I'm everywhere. Are you a virus? Tomas. Are you an AI? Is this the Russians? Are computers starting to manipulate us now? Snap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. I want to live in a... I said that I'm everywhere. You can't get rid of me. It's I'm, here, and I'm, here, I'm here, and I'm here, and I'm over here, and I'm here. You see, I'm inside your mind. I'm inside this closet. Should I come out of the closet? Ah, fuck it, you haven't. <laughs> Told you. Who are you? Oh, I'm you. But, uh, better look. Let me ask you something, just out of curiosity, and you, you can answer, you don't have to answer, but why are you such a pussy? I'm not a pussy. Then why haven't you fired that jackass therapist? Come on. Excuse me? You don't need this guy. Why would I fire him? Bitch, please. Come on, you've been wanting to do this for months, for years, and you still don't have the balls to do it. It's so fucking frustrating to watch you sit there every single Tuesday like a moron and listen to this asshole talk about his mother, his father, his sister, his finger up his ass. Who the fuck cares? Do you realize how annoying it is to watch you bite your tongue? But I need it. But I need, but, but I need, but I need, but I need, but I need. <laughs> when are you going to grow some fucking balls, kid? Who the hell do you think you are? You realize that jackass billed you twice last month, don't you? Wait, what? Twice. He doesn't give a shit about you, Tomas. He only cares about himself. You only hired him in your weakest moment when you took one look at him and you said, go ahead, take a chance. Hire the smart, fat girl. That's from The Devil Wears Prada. Oh, yeah, good movie. I think I slept with that girl. Which one? No. Oh, sorry about that, Thomas. It was just gas. Um, were you talking to somebody? I thought I heard voices. No. Oh, okay. Well, where was I? Oh, yes, Christmas of 82. Because that was when my sister got that Barbie camper that I became obsessed with. That was the hardest for my family because all I wanted were Barbies. And so I demanded them. And Can't take this anymore. To me them. And so Oh, much better, right? Okay, that's it. How can I make you leave me alone? Just fire him. I can't. Go on. But... Come on. Do it, goddamn you. Do it! No, do it! Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. No. Come on. Fine. Good. They'd get me G.I. Joe's, which I put dresses on. I'm sorry. Um, I have to tell you something. I am tired of your stories. I need emancipation from you. And, and while I'm giving you some home truths, yeah, you billed me twice last month. I am sorry, but I cannot trust you anymore. Mm -hmm. I'm done with the <laughs> sessions forever. <laughs> That's it. Oh. I've said it. <laughs> okay. Thank you for being honest with me. And I do struggle with kleptomania and it took courage for you to to share those feelings and and I want you to know that I appreciate 
that that you were with me during this time because you were my only client during the quarantine and I'm going to miss talking to you, but you don't need me anymore. And that makes me happy because I want you to be Bullshit. happy. Bullshit. So I know you're going to be fine. You keep doing those exercises. Good luck. Get a Broadway show. And I'm going to be cheering you on. For me, I want to refund you the last six months. That's a gift from me. Come on. And set sail on your life because I know it's going to be a really good one. And I'm going to go now. I'm going to go. You don't have to say anything, but I just wanted to say how much you've meant to me. So thank you. Bye. Yes. Yes. Beautiful. How do you feel? Don't you feel better? Don't you feel like a weight's just been lifted off you? How cool was that? Bravo! Yeah, that, um, that felt good. Good. All right. Next task. Now, let's start writing that hateful email to that bloody casting director. I mean, how I'm, dare he think you look too straight to play gay in Angels of America? You know the problem with casting directors? I taste silver. Uh, you taste what? I feel funny. Uh, I can't. <sighs> what do you mean you feel f What? I can't breathe. Okay, you're just having withdrawal symptoms from losing your security blanket. Don't, you don't need him. I feel funny. You got me, okay? I'll be your security blanket, okay? I, I need him. I you don't need anyone. Look at you. You're handsome. You're smart. You have a, a, a uh, semi-decent sized ding-dong. You don't need anyone, man. No, no. I, I made a mistake. I'm going to call him back. No. <laughs> do not do it. Do not call him back. Get out of my head. How can I make you get out of my head? That's the problem here. I'm never going away. I'll, I'll step back for now. No problem. One other thing, if you ever meet temptation and uh, the urge is very strong, just give a little whistle, huh? Oh. Okay. Okay. Hi, Thomas. What's up? Hey. Are you, are you okay? I was just watching the nanny. <laughs> She's so funny. <laughs> Can we just um, erase everything I just said? Hmm? He was just talking in my ear. He just made me do it. He, he made me fire you and, and I couldn't help it. And, and then he just got in my head and, and that's what happened. But can I take it all back? Can you take me back, please? This voice you heard, did it have a face? Yes. Did it look like John Stamos? Yes. How did you know that? That's your conscience. Huh? Everyone's conscience looks like John Stamos. When you get in trouble and you don't know right from wrong, give a little whistle. Give a little whistle. When you need temptation and the urge is very strong, give a little whistle. Give a little whistle. Good luck and don't forget to subscribe.